Bladder cancer is caused by the malignant transformation of cells in the lining of the bladder, otherwise known as the urethelium. For this reason, the most common type of bladder cancer is called urethelial cell carcinoma, or previously was referred to as transitional cell carcinoma. The most common type of bladder cancer in the United States is urethelial cell carcinoma, and that accounts for greater than 90% of all bladder cancers. In other parts of the world, squamous cell carcinoma does account for a higher percentage, but in the United States, that's only about 5%. The third most common is still quite rare, and that's adenocarcinoma of the bladder. There are lots of other more rare bladder cancers, but we won't worry about those today. Men are much more commonly affected by bladder cancer than women. The average age of diagnosis is around 65. Risk factors predisposing patients to getting this type of cancer include smoking, chemical exposures, some medications, and chronic inflammation of the bladder. The important one to know is smoking though. In fact, people that have a history of smoking are two to four times more likely to develop bladder cancer. 80% of patients who have bladder cancer first present with something called painless hematuria. That means that they either see blood in their urine or it's detected on a lab test, but most of these patients have no other symptoms. Some patients may have what we call irritated bladder symptoms. This includes dysuria, meaning burning when you urinate, urgency, or frequency. Unfortunately, patients that present with very advanced disease can have lots of weight loss, abdominal pain, and even bone pain. Whenever there's concern for bladder cancer, we usually start with cystoscopy. It's where a small camera is placed through your urethra into the bladder. We're looking for any abnormal lesions or tumors. If something is found, we will proceed with biopsying and resecting that area. We also use urine cytology. That's a lab where we send your urine to look for cancer cells. CAT scans are often used to help us stage the disease meaning to make sure there's no evidence of spread of the cancer outside the bladder. The treatment options for bladder cancer really depend on the type of bladder cancer, the tumor grade, and the tumor stage. For example, low-grade tumors can be managed with just local resection of the tumor. However, in higher grade tumors, we often use chemotherapy within the bladder to help control this stage of cancer. If the cancer has progressed into the muscle of the bladder, that means that a portion of the bladder will need to be removed. This is called a partial cystectomy, or often the entire bladder, which is called cystectomy. In patients that are too ill to undergo a big surgery of this type, we often use chemotherapy and radiation. The survival rates for bladder cancer really depend on the type of bladder cancer and the stage. For example, lower grade tumors are very easily managed and have a low risk of progression to muscle invasive disease. However, more aggressive type tumors, including those that invade the muscle, have a lower survival rate for sure. The good thing to take away from this is 75% of patients presenting with bladder cancer have low grade disease, which can be easily managed in the beginning and closely followed to make sure there's no progression. 